Hey everyone, Danny Maud here, head professional Canary Golf Club in Kent. And in this week's training, I'm gonna show you how to set up to the golf ball more consistently. And I'm gonna reveal two or three of the common things that most golfers get wrong, which has a massive impact on their, on their golf swing and their ability to strike a golf ball. So, the first thing obviously to, uh, to look at is, is, well, how do you actually hold the golf club in the first place? And the best way to describe this is, you may have heard of something called a neutral grip. We're trying to hold it in a neutral way. And basically what neutral means is, when we let our arms hang down like this, our arms for most of us turn in slightly, okay? So what we wanna be able to do is take the golf club, okay? We get our thumbs just touching the forefinger and we simply bring the left hand in, if you're a right-handed golfer, in to the, from the side and the right hand in from the side and what you can do is you can, uh, some people are holding it in what we call baseball style with the left hand below the right directly and some people like to kind of uh, join their hands together using what's called a varden where the little finger rests on top of the index finger of the left hand or some people like to interlock where the index finger of the left hand and the uh, little finger of the right hand kind of lock in together like this but either way it doesn't really matter as long as we have something called a neutral grip where basically our, again our hands are going onto the golf club in a much neutral way like this the, basically the way they're hanging what the common problems I see is this, when people are gripping the golf club, they tend to grip it and they tend to, oh, move their hand from this position to this position as they put it in, then they grip. And straight away, that's now going to be in real, real trouble. And why is that it? Why is that the case? Well, our hands don't sit like this naturally. If we relax them, they do this. So if you were to kind of grip the golf club and have it like this and then grip it, your hand isn't going to like that position and through the swing is going to want to fight to go back to here. And look what that does to the actual face of the club, it starts to open it, okay? And same thing in the right hand, if the right hand comes in here and you go, okay, I'm going to put it like this and grip it, the right hand doesn't want to be in this position like this, it's going to want to turn back and that turns the face over. So that's the grip sorted, but it shows you how important it is to actually get that, that first bit right. Um, it tends to feel, if you've been had a grip for a certain uh, while and, and, uh, and it's slightly wrong, changing your grip can be a, a big thing, so give yourself some time to kind of really embed this in, get some practice on the driving range, sometimes just at home, just hold the golf club in, in this neutral position just to increase the, uh, reduce the time it's going to take you um, on a golf course. The second thing is, is then, okay, well once, you, once you've done this, again, how do we then set up? Well. What we want to do is, is we want to get the upper part of the left arm much more connected to the body, okay? And the right arm connected to the right upper part of the right arm connected to the body. And then basically this helps us set the, the distance from the golf ball, okay? So we don't want these crumped in here where our elbows are stuck in here, but we also don't want stretched out here where our shoulders are stretched out. We want basically bring the upper parts of the arms connected to the chest, and this in a sense sets your distance. From here, what you can do is you, uh, a simple exercise is to get your right hand, put it on your belt buckle, and push it back here so your torso bends very low to the ground, feels very low to the ground. Then bring your bicep right back in, and the distance from the golf ball is set by how close your upper parts of your arms are connected to that body. Now what I tend to find in this is that very, very few people ever get into this posture position. Most people, because we spend our lives obviously stood up, most people are way too tall in their postures. They're stood too upright. And there's some big problems with this because when you stand too tall, that means that the most powerful part of your body, which is the bigger muscles, they're really not gonna work. They're kind of facing in this direction and we're not playing baseball. We're actually playing golf and the tag's down here. Well, I'm exaggerating this, but if you stand too tall, you're basically just wafting at the golf ball with your hands and your arms. And, and you can play golf, but you can't play it consistently and you certainly won't be able to generate much power from that position. The problem is, even in a lesson situation, when I get people into this position, they actually feel like they're down here. So they don't generally go down enough, even though they kind of, they feel like, oh my God, Danny, I'm down here. They just, they just don't get down enough they don't, they're not confident enough, they, don't, they feel it's too uncomfortable, it feels a bit weird. But what I would advise you to do is maybe get somebody to take a picture from behind as you do this, because when you do go down low into this position here where your back's probably at about a 40 degree angle, um, it might feel like this, 
but when you see it on camera it will be much more like this and that should kind of reassure you that you're actually working on the right thing okay so really overdo that so just in summary there we've worked on the grip we've worked on the distance from the golf ball and we've worked on the posture the final thing um, we're going to talk about here is where do you position your hands well the hand position is always opposite your inside left thigh here okay and your ball position basically is dictated to by the different clubs that you have in, in the bag. Okay, so I'm using like a mid iron here, which is an A time, which is more mid stance. As you move up from seven, six, five, four, the ball starts to push a little bit further forward. But again, here, the hand position never changes, always in the inside of your left thigh. Um, one other thing actually while I remember is just alignment. Alignment is a huge factor. So once we put those uh, things in place, the final factor is alignment. How do we line up? Well, one of the best ways to line up is to stand a good distance from, from the golf ball, pick a target somewhere out in the distance, and then draw an imaginary line back to the golf ball, backwards and forwards, and then pick something online with that ball probably no more than about two to three feet. A lot of people are trying to line up for something that's uh, even 20, 30 yards away and it's too far away when you're trying to line a club up here. Much, much easier to line a club up to something online here. And then what we're trying to do is trying to create almost like a train track, two parallel lines. So your target line here and your foot, your knee, your hip and your shoulder line here all parallel left of that. And if you can see that, okay? We don't line our feet and our hips and our body up to the target itself. Our target is parallel left, okay? So just in summary there, just in the basics in the setup here, we've got grip, make it nice and neutral. Distance from the golf ball is set by the upper parts of your arms relative to the ball. When you first try this, you might find that's a little bit cramped. Go with it, okay? It'll feel cramped, but it's the right thing to do. Third thing is getting your your posture in a position which is much more over the golf ball here. Again, most people stand too tall, promoting a wafting type of golf swing, which kind of works some of the time, but is not consistent. Go here and, and get one of your friends or something to film you or just take a picture of you just to show you that it doesn't look as bad as it feels, all right? And then we talked about the hand position, the left hand. Left hand always up to inside left thigh when you're setting up here. And then obviously the alignment go a good distance back from the golf ball, look right down to the target, pick up, draw a imaginary line back to your golf ball, and if you've done that a few times, pick a point two to three feet in front of that golf ball and work on your alignment that way. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, please leave your comments in the comments box below. And if you really like this video, press the button above and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to see you next time. And until next time, have a great golfing week.